Hey guys, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be talking about my top VPN picks for Omegle, as well as showing you how to use them with the site. Now, Omegle is a popular online chat platform, but if your account is wrongly banned, your IP address could be blocked as well. Omegle is full of diverse users, but some engage in illegal or explicit activity. And so moderators closely monitor user interactions, leading to many bans, some of which may be accidental. But there may be a workaround such bans, and that's with using VPNs. Now, not all VPNs work though, so in this video, I'll be giving you my top recommended VPNs to help with your situation. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point you'd like to give any of the mentioned VPNs a try, you'll find discount links available in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, to access Omegle, it is important to use a VPN provider that has a large number of servers and IP addresses. Now to show you how to use a VPN, I'll be using ExpressVPN, but the other VPNs I'll be talking about later should have very similar processes. First, ensure that you have the VPN installed and open to select a server. Now, you don't need to choose a specific country, so just select the closest server to your current location for the fastest speeds. Now, you might have to clear your browser's cache and cookies before accessing the Omega website, then process as if you're logging into Omegle as usual. Now, if it doesn't work, don't worry. It's likely that the IP address you are using has already been banned on Omegle. So all you have to do is just change the server. Also, make sure to check for any IP or DNS leaks and clear the cache and cookies from the browser again. Then attempt to access Omegle once more. And as long as you choose a reputable VPN for Omegle with a good number of servers, you will be able to get access to Omegle without trouble. Now, if you're wondering which VPN to choose, I've made a list of my top three VPN picks that I highly recommend. And hopefully this will give you enough info to pick a server that fits you and your situation. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs and have narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch. They're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and that's why these are my favorite three, but depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Now, starting with ExpressVPN, and this is going to be the one to get if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN, and it has the most verified no logs policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is a big number of countries allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to five simultaneous connections per account and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest level of reliability, Express is our trusty go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and Nord is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,400 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency, especially if you use a VPN for gaming, or if you want extra features such as a threat protection which blocks ads, malware within websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance, and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription, as opposed to ExpressVPN's five device limit. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then Nord would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is our pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account, so it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. You still get some bonus features such as an ad blocker for blocking pop 
pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're looking to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a large family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And so to sum it up, these are definitely the best in the business. Express is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those who are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Then NordVPN is a well-rounded, high-performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as a strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you like, which is a great plus. So that's it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as in-depth reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love getting to interact with you guys and like and subscribe if you found this video helpful or would like to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'd love to see you guys in our future videos.